morning and welcome to TransWest Truck Trailer RV of Frederick. My name is Callie Say and for those of you that aren't familiar with us, um, we are located about 30 minutes north of Denver right off I-25. I'm in horse trailer sales and today we're going to be going over this 2021 Cimarron North Star Warm Blood two horse bumper pull. But if you guys stick around to the end, we actually have some really cool um, props to play with over on the other side of the trailer um, of why the Cimarron is the best trailer in the industry. So let's go ahead and start with the trailer we have here in front of us. So the 2021s have finally rolled off the line. And this trailer is one that I picked because I actually own the 2009 version of this trailer. So I have a Cimarron North Star two horse bumper pull warm blood. And although some things have changed, um, there's a couple of features on this new trailer um, that I think have really, really, really improved the usability, the structure, the strength, even those have had a few upgrades since my 2009. But my trailer is in wonderful condition. I love it. I love how it pulls. So I can really speak volumes to how this trailer will hold up 11 years later. So first thing we wanna kinda look at here is this fold up step. And this is something I really wish I had on mine just because it makes it so much easier to get in and out of this front tack room. It's just, especially if you've got a big saddle you're getting through here, this jump from here to there is quite a bit off the ground. I've actually got a step stool on mine. So this front step that folds up nice and clean in front of your trailer is kind of a must have. I might have to add one of those onto mine. You've got your brush box down here and it's got drain holes in it so that uh, you can throw your fly sprays and anything that likes to spill in there and you can easily clean it out. Another thing that I really wish mine had is this rubber mat in here. So for those of you that um, tend to have muddy boots and you're walking in and out of your trailer, this is really easy to just take out, hose down, and put back in here, and you don't have to worry about ruining the carpet. Speaking of carpet, we've got carpet right behind the bridle hooks on this trailer, and we do have quite a bit of room for your bridles and your halters and your reins to hang on. Um, this carpet, even though I complain about mud, it actually is a marine grade carpet, so it holds up quite a bit better than like your house carpet would. Um, it's more mildew and stay, like rot resistant, so it's gonna actually weather, weather the years pretty well. Mine's 11 years old and it still looks great. Right here, this is a fun feature. Um, if, you, if you're hauling horses and uh, you've gotta run into your tack room really quick, you can peek in on them here. Um, without having to go around from side to side and uh, you know make sure they're not messing with their neighbor or anything like that. So this is kind of a fun little feature. If you're hanging out in here, you can get some airflow going through and makes it really comfortable. We've got the OptiBright lights upgraded on this trailer. So right up here, when you're hooked into your, plugged into your truck, um, you're gonna have lots of light to be able to see where, what you're doing at night. That's going to make it really, really comfortable. And then we actually recessed the bridle or recessed the saddle posts on this trailer. Instead of having a swing out or um, a removable post, we just recessed them back. That way, if you do want to take these out, you've got nothing kind of messing in your, messing with your area. It's a smaller space since we are a warm blood trailer. We didn't want to make it too long on the floor. Um, so having Having this recessed post just makes sense on this trailer. And then we do have a clothes rod up there, so if you do have show shirts, you wanna keep nice and clean, not crumpled on a pile in your back seat of your truck, there's a nice place to hang them where they'll stay up and out of the way. And then we have another window over on the other side for a little bit more airflow. So if you do have your saddle pads and you just got done riding, you're loading up, you can kind of open those up to let them dry out on the way home. Alrighty. So this trailer, you'll notice we've got a little more space above, above our drop downs than we do on our standard trailers. This trailer's seven, seven tall. 
So it is gonna be a lot more comfortable for those of you that have warm bloods or thoroughbreds or anything like that that needs just a little bit more space. And we've actually got um, 82 inches in stall length for these horses. So you, those big guys will be really, really comfortable. We have drop downs on both of the front escape doors on this trailer. Um, so that as you're going down the road, you can give your horses so much airflow on this trailer, you might have to start closing things back up because there's gonna to be too much air moving through. So we've got a drop down here, a front escape, so it's really easy for you to get in and maneuver around those horses um, as you're getting in and out of your trailer. A little awning light, so if you're tacking up, you can just tie your horse right here and you can see at night, which is awesome. We've got our running boards here, or our, our, our fender right here. Um, we've got running lights here so that you can see how wide you are at night so you don't kind of clean out any, anybody's trees as you're leaving properties. These Cimarrons come standard with the aluminum wheels. So I'm still running with steel, steel wheels on my trailer and this is another great upgrade. All the, all the Cimarrons are standard with these aluminum wheels now and they also do the nitrogen filled tires just helps stabilize the PSI. If you live in Colorado, you probably get a lot of temperature swings that are pretty intense. So having, having those nitrogen filled tires really, really helps keep everything a little more even keel, less hot and cold. All right. So I know a lot of people for these straight loads, they love having these ramps. Um, it's a nice, easy way for your horses to get in and out. Um, they're not having to back out over uncertain terrain. Uh, these mats are coated in a rubber, in a, they've got a rubber layer here. So if it is a little bit wet, they're gonna have a lot more traction and grit going up and down these mats. And then it's just a really nice, clean, smooth surface right here so that you're not gonna have anybody dropping a hoof or anything like that in there. Right back here, you've got the, the partial divider. And this is really nice because if you've got a horse that's maybe a little bit more tight to load, gets a little bit claustrophobic, you can swing this over, give them lots of space to walk in and out so that they don't feel like they're squeezed into a space. And then once they're in, you can easily just put this back and then clip them into place. So one of the things I wanted to point out, this is kind of the first, we've got a little scavenger hunt basically of parts on this trailer. So this right here is your, is your rear door frame. Um, it's your rear upright post. So it is sitting right here like this. And one of the things I wanted to point out is Cimarron owns all the dies for their extrusions. So this is a solid piece. On a lot of trailers, you have you have companies that will take three different pieces to weld together to get this result. So with Cimarron having their own extrusions, everything kind of interlocks really nice and clean. Um, and you have, have a lot of strength because you don't have any weak points since this is all one piece. So this is kind of the start of our structure for our Cimarrons that I'm gonna show you. All right. So up here, um, like I said, we do have the butt bars and the chest bars, and we can really easily add on um, bolster pads if you want those horses to be a little more comfortable going down. Just ask and we'll make it happen. You've got a big bus window right here. Allows a lot of air to go in and out. When I use my trailer, um, I've got, I don't have drop downs right here, which I would love to have, but I've got the bus windows open here, the bus windows open here, and then I actually wrap my Dutch doors all the way around, like this back here, and they've got butterfly hinges, so they're nice and securely popped into place. They're not gonna be rattling down the road, um, and that, you can get so much air moving through here. Like I said, sometimes it's even a little too much. One of the things I wanted to point out is this trailer is actually kind of multi-purpose. If you wanted to, if you've got a furniture company or something like that, where you need a clean enclosed space to haul, haul all your equipment with it and keep it nice. I've had a lot of people buy these, these warm blood style trailers just because you can remove this entire divider and this head guard and take it all the way out. And then you've basically got a really nice enclosed 
lockable, strong cargo trailer. So if you've got ATVs or side-by-sides that you want to bring in here and you know you might do the horses and the husband might do the toys this is very multi-purpose for for both of you to use one trailer as opposed to having to register and keep store a bunch of trailers at your house so right down here we've got all of your controls for your for your interior stall lights and your exterior lights the really nice thing down here is it's nice and low and it's on that end cap so they actually just cut out where where the where the lights need to be and you know how strong it is um, so you don't have to worry about any of that this trailer set up really really great it's going to be super light 2700 pounds empty um, so those smaller trucks will be able to handle it quite easily um, even though it's big you don't need a giant one ton to haul it so that's something i really like as well this right here, I've got the front escape door open here. So if you are going down the road, um, we can actually get you uh, a feed bag to put up here if you needed that. And you can just throw hay in here for your horses, open up, check on them, uh, make sure they're doing good. And it's also a really easy way for you to walk horses in, tie them up, and then you can walk off and turn around and, and go, go close up your trailer. So there's just a really good flow to this trailer in my personal opinion. All right, so I promised you guys some, some cool little gadgets from Cimarron to play with today. So today, we've used this, this quite a bit um, to kind of show you the structure, but we've broken it down even further to kind of show you how everything fits together. So as I mentioned, Cimarron owns all the dies for their extrusions. A lot of single pieces um, that interlock together. So this is kind of the structure of your outer walls of your Cimarron. So we can kind of take it apart piece by piece. So this right here is your, is your upright post, your wall post. And I want you to look in there and you can see that this is, there is no open ends. This is completely tubular and enclosed. So what does that do? That adds an incredible amount of strength to your trailer. So as you're going down the road, the flexing out that most trailers will experience, this is gonna help prevent a lot of that. So your trailers are gonna be a lot stronger with this more rigid out upright post. Another nice thing is, you see how flat that surface is? So when they, when they weld the side slats onto this trailer, or they weld on this trailer, they're welding to a flat post, and it's just so much stronger than the C channels or the hat channels. On our horse trailers, we have this styrofoam piece of insulation that goes in between. This will also keep your horses a little bit, a little bit cooler in there, and it fits really nicely just in here. So a lot of you that have stock trailers, you'll notice the, the upright posts are exposed. You don't have the, the kick mats in between. But for those of you, like in that trailer that we have right next to us, this styrofoam insulation just fits really nicely down in there to keep your horses just a little bit cooler. All right. So these are the, these are the side slats for your trailer. And if you'll notice, They've got hollow cores running up and down them. This is another piece of extrusion from Cimarron. So when we have tubular hollow cores, it adds a lot of strength to your trailer without adding a lot of weight. So that's our side slats are just not corrugated slats that make it look a little nicer from the outside. These actually have a very functional purpose and they add a lot of strength to your trailer. And notice how everything kind of just interlocks. So here's your running boards or, rocker panel, right? or your rocker panels, yep. Um, so right now, you know, on a lot of our eight foot wide trailers, you'll see them like this, but it's very easy for us, like on this trailer right here, there's your running board. So these have kind of multi-purpose, but the extrusions allow for a lot of interlocking 
um, to provide a lot of strength and help, help them weld these all together. And then right here you have your T-beam. So these trailers, as they are kind of put together, they're actually started upside down. So everything is welded, hold on, right there. Everything is welded like this onto the trailers. And then it is flipped, and there's your floor. And as these go down on our floor systems, we've got the four inch centers, but this V truss right here actually adds 60% shear force strength to your floor. So they're incredibly strong. They interlock with each other. And they all fit together. So as you're going along, oops, sorry. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Let me get this all right. So as you're going along, Cimarron actually welds four different places along these along these floor or along the the floors. Um, so you've got a really, really, really strong surface to work for. So this this tube tube wall post right here, this upright post, is actually very similar weight to our roof bows that we've got. But our roof bows, when you hold them out like this, they'll kind of ping pong a little bit. These right here, these are like a pencil. They're very, very strong. This is what holds the sides of your trailers together. Yeah, I can put it back together again. All right. So pretty much you've got your floors and your T-beam. We'll just kind of build it backwards. Side extrusions just sit right there. right post right here and your insulation there you go so yeah there's when we talk about the structure of the Cimarron being incredibly strong it's nice to be able to have um, kind of these fun little pieces to explain how they go together and why they are so strong so since they own their own extrusions they can make sure that the quality is really, really high. Having single pieces that aren't just welds on welds on welds on welds adds a lot of strength to your trailers. And then me personally, owning a 2009 Cimarron that's set up very similar to this, I can kind of attest at how that, how that quality holds up over the long run. So for those of you that have any questions, I'd be happy to put this together for you um, and we can kind of go more into depth about why the Cimarron's are as structurally sound as they are. If you have any questions on this trailer or any more on our lot, you can call me. My name is Callie Say. My phone number is 970-309-6368. I'd be happy to work with you. Thank you.